And I shouldn't have to put up with this. Cold truck? Association. Truck. Hard oh. to put the heat on. Do so anybody know what truck is? Hey, who's asking? The National Basketball Association. You getting called up. <laughs> when? Now. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let it go. yeah. There he is. Let's go, man. Let's go. So here I come. So, you know you guard matches tonight, right? Wait, With DJ what? and Cedric down, we need you to stay out of foul trouble. Okay. Also, don't fall for his pump fake. That's an easy six. But you gotta contest or it's lights out. All okay. right. Hey, he's gonna get his tonight, so don't let it frustrate this you. This is a big game for us. We need you to get down in the mud and scrap. Okay, I can also, do that. Also, hey, you're on a 10-day contract. That's a tough spot to be in. But it's also a good opportunity. So, you wanna stick around? Show us what you got. Any questions? About guard and magic? Good. See you at warm-ups. Among the skyline of Los Angeles lies the Forum, our venue for tonight's action. The lights are on, and it's showtime. Welcome, everyone, to our coverage of the NBA. We have a great one for you tonight with the Celtics visiting the Lakers. I'm Kevin Harlan with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. What a game we've got in store for you tonight. This is the matchup that everyone had circled on their calendars. Bird and the Celtics visiting Magic and the Lakers. What could be better? Absolutely, Mike. And of course, Clark, you have the impact on the standings as well. All teams leading their respective conferences. Yeah, you know, Kevin, that's just another layer to this classic East versus West rivalry. Each team is trying to put more distance between the second place teams trying to track them down. Well, a lot of pressure on recently signed Truck. First game with the team, and he's thrown to the Lions. We'll see how long he stays matched up with Magic. So here's who the Celtics will begin the game with. Dennis Johnson is out with injury, so Gerald Henderson will start at the point. Scott Redman is joined by the newly signed Truck out on the wing. The fifth-year phenom, Larry Bird, starts at the four. And in the middle, Robert Parrish locking up the center position. And starting for the Lakers, Irvin Magic Johnson runs the show at the point. The rookie, Byron Scott, gets the nod at the two. They'll have Michael Cooper and Kurt Rambis making up the front court pair. And of course, it's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar standing tall in the middle. And for more on Truck, who is getting the start today, let's head over to David Alderman. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the shorthanded Celtics had to make a roster move. They were able to get Truck, a wing playing for the Minneapolis Muskrats. This team has had their eye on Truck for a while, but this string of injuries forced them to act. We'll see how that goes for them, guys. We will indeed, D.A. Thank you so much. And Clark, the Muskrats, one of the minor league pro teams in the States. Yeah, you know, from what I understand, Kevin, Truck was doing really well at that level. This could be his big opportunity. And for Truck, he's known for his defense, Clark. But it will take a huge effort to contain Magic Johnson in this one. The Celtics did not have much of a choice, Kevin. I mean, with all of their injuries, they needed to bring somebody in. If Truck can disrupt and bother Magic just a little bit. That's a huge lift for them. Now with Truck drawing the assignment guarding Magic, Mike, you have to think they'll test him early. And why wouldn't they? When you have a newly signed guy like Truck checking up Magic, you have to go at him early on. We'll find out quick how Truck handles it. Well, you talk about a guy who's all work and effort. Truck never seems to take a playoff. You know, with only two points in their last meeting, you just knew Cooper would come out looking to perform better, and he has. Here's Henderson after the basket by the Lakers. Bird high post. Passes to Wedman. Here's Parrish. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Parrish has got his second bucket of the game to go. Tell you what, with his size and soft touch, Parrish is a very reliable option on the inside. And Magic Johnson coming off that terrific triple-double last game. A complete game from a very complete player. We've known it for a while now, but we are watching greatness with Magic Johnson. He controls so much of the game when he's on the floor. Kevin McHale, he checked in for Bird. You know, the combination of size, speed, and length that Johnson has, really um, pretty unique for a point guard. Here's Truck. He dishes it to Henderson. From 12 feet out. 
Here's Parrish, and it's Parrish finishing it off. Parrish cleaning it up for his team, using his length to protect the play and get them the basket. Lakers trail by five. Johnson surveying the floor. Cooper kicks to Scott. He was looking for Abdul Jabbar and finds him. The Lakers get it back in a new 14. A shot by Johnson, no good. Celtics leading by five. And for those who remember watching Truck in college, you know he's as hard a worker as they come. Yeah, nobody's going to out hustle him, Mike. He's not the most skilled wing, but he's a great player to have fill in for nights like this. Five on the clock. The pass to Wedman. For three, Henderson, and the three ball is good. Henderson's got five. The D has to at least honor Henderson's three because he can bury these triples. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Rambis passes to Johnson. Over McHale. Johnson can't hit. And they've got a two-for-one opportunity right in front of them. Let's see how they utilize this situation. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Truck against Scott. And that one's good. Truck. Slowly but surely, building out this lead a little more. And the opposition better up their play as well if they want to avoid this getting out of hand. They double-team Johnson. Abdul-Jabbar finds Scott. Lakers working the ball around now. Abdul-Jabbar with it. Defended by Parrish. Johnson against Truck. Out of bounds. Boston takes possession. <laughs> Celtics leading by eight. Like you talk about the excitement in this crowd, this is a capacity crowd here tonight. 17,505 here in the forum. It's been the hot ticket here in L.A. Laker fans know what the implications of this matchup mean. They've come out in full force. That is the kind of ability Truck brings to the floor. What a pass. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Los Angeles. Pass to Wilkes. And he drops it in from the low post. Wilkes has got his second basket of the night. He does not lack for confidence. He shouldn't. I mean, this guy is a dangerous score. Here's Ainge. He doesn't hit that one. And early on, Truck has done a solid job, Mike, of slowing down Magic Johnson. Truck has shown that he's no pushover on defense. The Lakers have tried to target him, but he's passed their test. That's really just too easy for Worthy. The defense can't give him that deep interior positioning like that. Shot's good from Bird. Lakers trail by eight. Johnson outside. Passes it to Wilkes. The dish to Johnson. The pass to McAdoo. Johnson outside. Clock at four. Nice shot by McAdoo. McAdoo. Now, Truck. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter. McHale with a screen on Johnson. Boston needs to get off a shot. But, and a great assist by Truck as that one goes in. And the Celtics lead by eight. And this year's draft class, Mike, it's shaping up to be a good one. There are a few players that could alter the future of teams. Elijah Wan and Jordan seem like can't-miss prospects. But there are a lot of great kids coming out this year. Here's Wilkes. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. McAdoo misses. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Truck with it. Bird is screen on Johnson. Truck dishes to Bird. 
Well, Mike, they've been rivals for many, many years. Bird against Magic. What are you seeing so far? Neither has jumped ahead of the other so far. But as the game goes on, both will start looking for their own number. Now, here's Johnson. From about 19 feet. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. You know, we've seen so many great battles between Bird and Magic. Something special typically happens when these two meet. Rivals in college and now rivals in the NBA. They always seem to be getting in each other's way. And Bird gets it to go on the assist by Truck. And now a 10-point Celtic lead. That's a pretty good play by Bird, showing you some of that deceptive athleticism. Getting around the contact and into a shot. the Boston Celtics headed to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well on this one. A great performance from the field. We'll return shortly. Welcome back, everyone. The second half getting going. Lakers and Celtics here in beautiful L.A. Celtics leading by seven. And with Truck on the floor again, Mike, it seems the Celtics will be matching his minutes with Magic's. That's why they signed him. Boston feels he is the right man to bother Magic with his strength. It makes sense they would match minutes. Bird. And that's rejected by Abdul Jabbar. Pass to Johnson. Now here's Abdul Jabbar. Defended by Parrish. And that one's good by Abdul Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar's got six. When it comes to getting buckets, Kareem is as good as it gets. Johnson against Truck. Driving to the basket. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Boy, that's a high IQ play on defense there. That's a spot where you want to foul. Send the message. So he gets them both. Well, both of these teams have been terrific so far this season. This could be a preview of this year's finals. Yeah, I agree with you, Mike. The Lakers would love a return trip. I mean, with both teams atop their conferences, this game does have some extra juice to it. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Parrish with the screen on Johnson. Pass to Parrish. He gets that one. 12 points for him. Unselfish play by Trump. He knows his role and is willing to move the ball. Outside, Scott. Lobbed up there for Johnson. Oh, good on that one. And it's Henderson with the ball for the Boston Celtics. Truck against Johnson. Outside, Truck. Parrish with the screen on Johnson. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. Playing his part to perfection. Parrish sets a solid pick and then hustles to get himself a shot. Passes it to Rambis. Back to Johnson. Now here's Abdul Jabbar. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Kevin McHale, he checked in for Boston. Substituting on the board. Here's Henderson. And even though he's coming off the bench in this one, Mike, what a year it's been for Jamal Wilkes. He's looked very comfortable all season long. Found his role and has played it perfectly. Great scoring threat for this team. Lock at six. Truck finds Henderson. And a great assist by Truck as that one goes in. Truck's got assist number eight here in this one already. There's the pass to Abdul Jabbar. Lakers passing it around. The three from Johnson. Rebounded by the Celtics. You know, he's just not taking good shots. Not taking smart shots. Forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. 
Romantic has been baffled by Truck's defense all game long, Clark. It has been impressive. Kevin, a tip of the hat to Truck for how he's played. He's not been afraid, not been intimidated at all. And so far, he's locked Magic up. Well, Kareem only had three rebounds in their last game against Boston. You knew he'd grab more than that in this one. And the rejection by Bird. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. McAdoo uh, is checked in. Fifty seconds left to play in the third. Truck against Johnson. Abdul Jabbar on the wing. He's got seven. From the stripe, six to shoot. McAdoo misses. Celtics leading by 13. Now, Truck, six points for him. Parrish with the screen on Johnson. Truck drives in. Here's Buckner. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Here's Wilkes. And no good in the last second attempt this time. And so it's the Boston Celtics looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. Back right after this. We have one more quarter of play left between the Lakers and the Celtics. Our coverage continues here in the fourth quarter. Lakers trail by 13. And Mike, in the second half here, you wonder how big a factor the short benches will play in this one. Both teams are missing some rotation players due to injury. The starters might get a little more tired early on. Johnson can't get it to go. And the Celtics with possession here. Bird, the pass to Buckner. Truck with it. Shot clock at five. Ainge dishes to Truck. Pulls it up. And McHale the basket on the assist by Truck. McHale always ready to catch and fire. Great confidence in his offensive game. Johnson against Truck. Shoots over Truck. Doesn't go for Magic and Truck, a factor on that miss. And all game long, Truck has played tough D like that on Magic. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Back to McHale. The teardrop falls in. And the Celtics lead by 17. And the Celtics have one more game on their road trip, Clark. They'll travel to Phoenix after this game here. Caps off a successful six-game road trip for them, Kevin. They started really hot winning their first three games on this West Coast trip. On the wing, Johnson. Defended by Truck. Johnson against Truck. Truck with the block. Truck playing with a lot of heart. What a rejection. Full effort all the time on D. Now a timeout called by Boston. Making some changes. Harris, he's checked in for McHale. Redmond comes in for Danny Ainge. 
And Henderson subbed in for Buckner. Celtics leading by 17. Now, Truck. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Bird is screen on Johnson. Truck dishes to Bird. The basket good off the assist from Truck. Truck's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Los Angeles. Looking to get on the board here in the fourth still. Here's Abdul Jabal. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. That's a great example of Kareem's strength. Teams try to push him around, but he's like a steel rod. And with Kareem reaching double figures again, Mike Vitz now 512 straight games with him having double-digit points. What an incredible streak from Kareem. The way he scores with ease every time out, the numbers he puts up are staggering. In the corner, Henderson with it. Offline with his three. Lakers trail by 16. It's Scott on the wing. Baseline J on the way. And Boston with the rebound. Bird's got his sixth rebound on the night. Truck against Johnson. Truck with it. Harris with the screen on Johnson. Truck drives in. Here's Wedman. Drills it from outside. Wedman's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. You know, at one point, it looked like there was still a chance, but I think that time has come and gone. Now they're just hoping to end with something they can build on. Celtics leading by 19. 132 left to play here in the fourth. Abdul Jabbar against Truck. He takes it in. He feeds it to Pierce. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Lakers. And we've got a what? Oh. Now, truck. McHale with a screen on Johnson. Truck drives in. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. They've turned it up a notch here during this home stretch. They are saving their best basketball for when it mattered the most. That's how you secure a win. Carr, he's checked in for the Celtics. Warren comes in for Danny Ainge. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Spriggs. Wilkes the pass to McAdoo. Six on the shot clock. Lakers working the ball around now. Garrett's shot is off. Truck with it. Tries from 16. A second chance effort. And McHale finishes inside. A determined rebounder. McHale just outworks the opposition to come away with the second chance points. Here's Spriggs. Clock goes to zero, and this one is over. And in the books, Mike the Celtics were able to get a road win here in L.A. from some unlikely help. Well, the world will be talking about Truck tomorrow. He did a fantastic job in slowing down Magic. Yeah, Mike, he was great. The Lakers must feel blindsided by Truck's contributions. Clark, he was something else. I'll tell you what, partner, the Celtics don't win this game without Truck. The defense he played was terrific and really helped Boston play with a lot of effort at that end. And so for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire 2K sports crew thanking you for watching. So long, everyone.
Wow, truck, impressive game. Gee, thanks, Johnny. So walk me through this. It's your first taste of NBA action. You've got to take on Magic Johnson, and you actually get the best of him. Oh, it feels really good, Johnny. I feel like Magic is one of the best to ever do it, but I can defend anyone. This is my game. So after a performance like tonight, do you think that you've shown the team enough to secure your spot on the permanent roster after your 10-day contract is up? I hope so. I'm not the flashiest guy to do it, but I can defend at a high level, and I'm going to do it no matter where I am in that rotation. See, I'm going to stay ready so I can help the team win, and I feel like any team can use that. Humble, hardworking, straightforward. Thank you, Charlie. An unbelievable performance from an unlikely hero. Tonight, the Celtics defeat the Showtime Lakers here in Los Angeles. I'm Johnny Ryan. Back to you in the studio. Your grandpa was ready for anything. Didn't matter what he was up against. That man had ice water in his veins. <laughs> I still can't believe he's gone. Like, every day something will happen that'll make me want to call him. And, you know, and I remember. I know. I know. But you know you can still learn from him. Still honor him. And when your number is called, you got to be ready. It could be game seven of the NBA Finals instead of, you know, game 40 of the regular season, but you're only going to have one shot to make the most of it, just like Grandpa only had one shot to even make an NBA roster. If you want to honor his legacy, you make the most of those chances whenever and wherever they come. Uh, that's real, Pop. Well, I know a few things. <laughs> you should. You old, man. <laughs> Not so old that I can't back you down in the paint and show you what's up. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You've been skipping leg day and it shows. Look at your little chicken oh, legs. No, no, no. Hold on, Pop. I'm crushing leg day, man. Mm-hmm. It's so your fault. You better hit the weight room before you step to me. You know what? I'm ready. We can hit it right now. You ready, old man? All right, let's go. All right, let's do it. You gonna spot me? <laughs>